God raised our many sons boy. And what happened was bothering him is because that the word of God is living and active and double-edged sword and it's piercing their hearts, breaking the hearts of men. And that's why it's wrong here that your heart is, is a rock and we need to bring the sword to pierce it. And that's why it's getting mad. A lot of people here are getting mad because the word of God is, is living. And many of y'all are walking dead, and we're here to bring life. This is the word of God. What is life? God, the God is life. And in him, in him, there's no darkness. And this is why we come and preach the gospel, the gospel of peace, the light that has came into the world. But the Bible said that the men have loved darkness rather than light. You see, when God created the heavens and the earth, right, everything he created was good. It was supposed to function the way it is, the way he created it. And everything was good. But what happened, pride, the serpent talked to me, he said, you will become as God. A lot of people here want to become the old God. But we said that they have a form of godliness denying the power of the And so what happened is that you want to uh, uh, cast out, uh, uh, cast away the, the, the word of God and make your own truth. You see, God made his commandments so we might buy by it. But what happened is that when, when Adam and Eve sinned, you know, when Adam and Eve sinned, sin came into the world through Adam and Eve. And one of the biggest sins was that, that pride that came killed Abel out of jealousy and envy. And that's what happened. The pride came before destruction. The Bible says that he was, he was knocking on Cain's door in the heart. He says, sin lies in your heart. Sin is knocking on your door. Praise Jesus. And that's what's happening. People are living in willful sin, living in sin. And when truth is being spoken, praise Jesus. It's piercing the heart and people are reacting to it. Praise Jesus. And that's why today we preach in Jesus Christ, the light of the world. The word of God is a light. It's a lamp unto your feet. And a lamp and a light to my path. So I need the word of God in me. I need the word of God before me to walk in his righteousness and holiness when you first seek the kingdom of heaven. All to be added unto you when you live in the spirit. Praise Jesus. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Repent for the kingdom of heaven like that. For the kingdom of heaven is that. Oite. So we part of the Cristo viene, el reino de los cielos, sufre violencia por los violentos, los rebatan. Si, sí, los que no saben inglés, lo voy a decir en español, en esta noche, que Cristo está llamando a cada uno de ustedes a arrepentirse. ¿Por qué? Porque viene juicio a esta tierra. Es la única forma que tú puedes salir de ese juicio si acepta a Cristo como tu único Señor y Salvador buscar a Cristo buscar primeramente el reino de los cielos y cuando tú buscas el reino de los cielos y cuando acepta al Señor Jesucristo Él va a sacar la corazón de piedra y darte un corazón de carne tiene que humillarte delante de su presencia Tienes que humillarte delante del Rey, del Rey, Señor, del Señor. Y no vivir en este pecado, no vivir en pecado. Porque va a llegar un tiempo que tu vida va a, va a terminar. Y va a comer en tu último respiro. Va a estar delante del trono de Cristo. Se va a ser juzgado. Y si tu nombre no está escrito en el libro de la vida, será lanzado al lago de fuego. Dios lo bendiga en el nombre de Jesús. Afrapientes en el nombre de Jesús.